everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. I am so excited today. Oh my word. <laughs> um, this was one of the best um, weekends for me um, for yard sales. <laughs> I have a yard sale haul. I also have a thrift store haul, but I think I'm going to break those up into two different videos because I have a lot to show you. So I'm going to start with yard sales um, that we went to today. I also went to one yesterday, but I'm going to combine that. Well, no, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you, but let me show you this stuff first. Um, this was from various uh, yard sales that we went to today. Um, I'll just start with these little cute little Beanie Baby sock monkeys. I got two of these. I have to look these over really good to make sure they're in good condition. Um, these are great like for little add-on items for my live sales, but I did get two of those. Really cute. I probably paid more than I should have, but oh well. It's okay. Um, I also got this plate. I haven't washed it yet. I We just came home a couple hours ago, so I haven't really washed anything yet. Um, but this is um, restaurant wear, and it's really, oh, I just love this. It's, it's really heavy duty. I like the color and the print on it, the, uh, the transfer wear. And let me see who makes this. I'm gonna try to do this quickly because I got a lot. Uh, Syracuse, China, uh, Corporation, USA. Restaurant wear, really nice. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or sell it yet. Um, this would look really cute, just a backdrop and a display, but also nice to use. Okay, and then I'm trying to rush because, like I said, there was a lot. Um, one of the first yard sales I went to today, I got these little bracelets, and I thought these would be nice for little add-ons also, and I got five of them. And they're the little stretchy bracelets. Um, so I thought they were really cute. And they look really nice stacked. Leanne makes these, but I mean, she makes hers with natural beads. Um, these are a lot, uh, some are natural, but some are other kind of beads, but they're really, really pretty. These aren't as well made, I don't think, as hers, but, um, but they still make nice little add-ons. So those will be coming to a live sale. And then, so that was one yard sale, and then another yard sale, I got this. This is going to be loud. Maybe, maybe not. It's a huge bell. Look at how big this is. It's a brass bell. Really cool. I'm not really sure what it says on there. Um, I don't know. It's a different language. But I thought it was really, really cool. It's got a screw on there and it also has this little thing. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was attached to something at one time. But it's, it's really big. <laughs> it's heavy, very heavy too. Nice dinner bell for my husband, but that probably will be for sale. Um, and then and then this, we went to another yard sale. He has yard sales every weekend. We only go every other weekend now because, he, you know, he doesn't always have, sometimes he has good stuff, sometimes he isn't, doesn't. Um, I, but I love this owl plate. I thought it was so pretty. And I do have some owl lovers out there. So I picked that up. It's really cute. And then this other place I went to, um, they have sales maybe once a month and they have ta big tables just full of things, all kinds of stuff. They have tools, they have glass, they have crafts. They had a lot of crafts this time, um, but I, I refrained. I only got two craft items and they're both the same. It's uh, cardstock. There was two packs that have never been open. Uh, they were a dollar each, so I picked them both up. So I can use these. These are perfect for my junk journaling and my card crafts, my tags. So that was a good buy. And I also got this really cool brooch. Um, it has like the atlas, and then it has different animals on there. I don't know if you could make out the animals. Um, there's a rhinoceros, there's a goose. It looks like the tree of life possibly, an elephant, some dolphins maybe, or a whale. Anyways, really cool. Nice size brooch. I got this. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, 
I just liked it. I'm gonna try to clean it up. I know some people like things shiny. It has a little, you can open it up and you can put things in there. I thought, isn't that pretty? Put some, some hearts in there for Valentine's. It does have little hearts on the top. So I thought that was sweet. You can put a little love note in there. But yeah, I'm gonna to try to get it, see if I can shine it up a little bit. I'm not sure what kind of metal it is. It, I believe this was made in India and I think it's, um, it could be, could be brass. I'm not really sure. But anyway, so I got that. And then um, I also bought this cute little bottle, a little perfume bottle, very small, very delicate little perfume bottle. It was made in Egypt. Like that. Oops. And then uh, the last thing I got there was this cat bottle. It's a Jim Beam bottle. I have one in my own collection, so this one will be for sale. Now the cork does have some damage on there. I'm going to see if my husband can fix it. I think he fixed mine. Um, part of the cork is inside. So maybe we can glue it back. I'm not sure. He's pretty handy. So, so yeah, little Jim Beam bottle. It's actually pretty good size. Okay, so that was um, those. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait to show you this. Oh, I also got, um, not this, it's not this. This is for my granddaughter. Um, she likes Stranger Things. So I picked up this t-shirt for her. That was a dollar. It's really good condition. I think she'll like that. It's nice and big. She likes them big too. Okay, I'm going to stop this for a second. I'll be right back. I have to move things and get my goodie. Oh my gosh. You will not believe it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> One more thing. Sorry. I'm all over the place. I think my adrenaline is going because I'm just so excited about some of the things that I got. You're probably going to say, oh, really? Oh, okay. But I also got this font, and this was at that same sale where I got the cat and other things, so I did pick that up. Okay, now I'll be right back. Okay, so this lady, um, she's the one that I bought my Rushton's from. So she has, she, her mother was a toy hoarder, and um, I got a lot of my Rushton's and a lot of my dolls from her. Um, I still have so many dolls, I need to do something with them. But anyways, and of course, she, oh, I just can't resist. I can't resist dolls. I don't know why. And some of these are in such bad condition. I mean, they are really rough, rough condition. But something, they called to me. I can't explain it. Because um, this one, you're going to say, what? Why did you buy her? But I had to get her. Um, now, this lady, she texted me on Thursday and said that she was gonna have a sale this weekend. I was so excited. So I went yesterday and I got some things and I went today. This one, I don't know what it is about her. Um, she's, like I said, she's in rough condition. She's one of those bedroom dolls. Um, a lot of her hair is missing. Um, her eyes do open and close. Um, I don't know what it is about her. She is so old. I don't know the age of her, but she is old. Um, her dress is just in really bad condition, but it's just so beautiful at the same time. Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. I don't know if I can take the dress off. I'm gonna to try to take the dress off and wash it gently. Um, but I just love her. I know, call me crazy. Ugh, but I just, I just love her. Um, and then, um, Oh, today, this bag of stuff that I have, um, she didn't have it out. Um, I had picked up a Raggedy Ann, and then she says, oh, you found the Raggedy Ann's. I said, well, I just found the one. I ended up not getting it. It was a more modern one. And uh, she said, well, I have a whole box full of Raggedy Ann's. I said, oh. So we were looking through some of her, and she's got big trunks, and I mean, huge trunks full of toys and stuff. And But we couldn't find the Raggedy Ann's. But I found this box that had... It had her in there. It's got, look at this guy um, from the Wizard of Oz. He's kind of like a Gumby type um, lion. I got, let's see if I have my glasses. I can't remember where he was made. Um, oh, he was made in China. So I guess he's not super old. So he was made in China. So I got him. 
this beautiful little doll. Oh, she's so cute. Now she does have a little chipped foot, her little shoe, but she's just adorable. She has a composite face. Um, her legs and her, her arms are all composite, but she is so precious, so precious. Um, and then this celluloid doll. I just had to have her, even though her dress is, she's in rough shape too. A lot of these are. And this, I don't know what this is, but I had to get her. She's a little, um, uh, I guess she was a squeaker at one time, but she does not squeak anymore. I don't know who makes her. Um, I don't see any markings on her. Well, I'll have to look her up. But isn't she cute? <gasps> She's gotta be washed too. And then, um, I got this beautiful brass frame. It is just beautiful. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or sell it. Oh, it's just so pretty. Look at this. I don't know if you can see the figures on there, but it's just gorgeous. Just beautiful. It's old. You can tell the, the backing is, is kind of um, flaking off. But it's so pretty. Yeah, really pretty. It's heavy too. I think it's brass. It might be sold to brass. And then this little plaque of a mother and child. Um, it almost feels like that composite material that's kind of like paper mache, um, but it's a, a, a three-dimensional picture. There's no marking on it. You can tell it's really old. I thought that was so sweet. Oh, it says, to mother. That's all it says, to mother. Oh, this would be perfect for Mother's Day. Oh, I love that. All this stuff has to be cleaned. It all has to be cleaned. And then this, I thought this was nice for um, for Valentine's Day. Nice to put in a display. It is um, Daher Dar Decorated Wear by Dar. Somebody paid 50 cents for this at the thrift store at one time. So yeah. And her mother went to, she would go to yard sales, thrift stores, um, antique stores, and just buy all this for years and years. Um, so anyways, okay, and then I also got this doll. And again, these, like I said, these dolls are not in the best condition. But again, this one, her eyes need to be painted back on. Her eyes are gone. Oh, but she's so precious. And again, the dress, I'm gonna to try to try my best to clean these. Um, but isn't she just beautiful? And she is composite. She's all composite. But she's in fairly good condition. I mean, her stringing is good. Her, um, she has a little bit of wear on her hands. And of course her eyes are missing or, you know, but she is actually pretty good condition. Um, I do need to try to clean her clothes. Just precious. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then, and that was all, this was all from today. And then I'll show you what I got yesterday. Um, this, is it this one? Yeah, look at this. This is a stife. It's an actual stife. Um, I guess it's a leopard maybe, but it has the little stife um, pin in the ear. Let me see. Yep, it says Stife. So that was pretty cool to get that. And then, let's see what else. And some of these, this is, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, this was from Wild Things, 1980. Uh, I'm trying to see where it was made. Product of Taiwan. Stranger, no, not Stranger Things. Um, I said it and I forget. Wild Things. <laughs> it's cute. Okay, so got that. And this, she didn't have this yesterday because I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't see him. He's so cute. 
Now he does have a lot of damage on him. It looks like he has um, a lot of um, moth. What do you call that? Moth, uh, you know, moth holes. <laughs> what do you call that? But a lot of it. So he's in really rough condition. But I still, I mean, he's still worth saving. Um, copyright 1956. Weepers. Weepers. He has a little teardrop. And it's a little, uh, a little gem. And let's see who made this. Um, an original by Anna Edwards. Baby's First Steps, New York. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Even with all its little moth holes. That's what it is, moth holes. Yeah, it's, it's an... Oh, but it's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then what else did I get? I got some weird little things. This was a little ornament. It's Department 56. It's a strawberry. It's a strawberry person. <laughs> a strawberry with legs. Um, this is a weird little thing. And I don't know if you could see, but she has a little tiny face on her. It's really, really hard to see. If I remember, I'll take a picture and insert it so you can see it better. Kind of creepy, but kind of, you know, different. I like things that are different. Um, and then I got these two little pictures. These were only like 10 cents each. So I did get them. These would be really cute framed in, in a little girl's room or in a child's room, I should say. Um, but it's, they're really sweet. Somebody who likes ballet, very, very sweet. And then I got this little uh, Matryoshka doll, little nesting doll. I haven't taken it apart. Um, oh, that's it. So there's just um, three, three pieces. One, two, yeah, three pieces. It has part of the sticker on the bottom. I believe it was made in Russia. But it's hard to read that bottom, little label. And then these were just some little little things, a little Raggedy Ann to hang on the wall. This little, um, what do you call this? Like a little, I guess it had a mirror at one time, a little trinket box. But I'm thinking it had a mirror and the mirror is missing. You could put a little picture on there. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll put something on here. I'm going to do something with this. But I thought it was really pretty. It's very, you can see that it is old. I need to go quick, quicker because I have so much. And I bought this book. I just wanted to read it for myself because um, I never heard of the Infant of Prague until I bought one. I bought a, a little statue. So this is a very rough shape, as you can see. Um, so I'm gonna look at this. And the inside's not bad, though. This was July 1960, July 27th, 1960, uh, dis distributed, distributed, distributed uh, by Golden Press. So the inside is pretty nice. So I might scan some of these pages. So it tells the story, The Infant of Prague. Oh, uh, there is some writing some scribbling in some of it um but just a nice little book um it says first books for little catholics so i'm going to check it out and then i might offer this as a, a freebie or something on my live sale and then it's some just little doodads here and there <laughs> this was made in i think taiwan these things are stuck. This little horse and a little angel. I have to untangle them. Another little angel. These were made in Hong Kong. And then a little brass shoe. That was an ashtray, like an individual ashtray. Really cute. Okay, so I'm going to stop this and I'll be right back. I have some more to show you. Okay, yesterday when I went, um, I have a, whole, a box full of other things, but let me just show you this first. I almost passed this by. It's just a bag of some Christmas stuff. And I was looking in here and then I spotted 
Uh oh, I dropped something. Did I drop it? Anyways, I spotted this little guy. So it was in this bag. And this bag is, she gave it to me for a dollar. And it just has some little, that was the best thing in it. And I think I have another little piece. Uh oh, what do I do with it? I had another little um, chenille Santa. Um, I have to go see if I have, if I dropped it over there. But this just has some fun stuff in there. <laughs> Look at this bear. I think that's a bear. Santa bear. Little Santa. Um, another Santa. This I thought was really cute too. Just some fun stuff. I'm gonna have to go through it and then decide what I want to keep and what I will sell and probably my Christmas in July sale. Some little bells. Um, ooh, this Santa's got, his face got really dark. Okay, so that was in that bag. Let me go see if I can find my little, where'd it go? And it's funny because I didn't see that little guy. My husband saw it. When we came, when I came home, it was stuck to the horse. So hold on, he had a little, he has a little hook on. I should take that off because it gets stuck on things. But anyways, it's one of these little tiny chenille. Look at how cool that is. My husband has one, and I think it was from his grand, oops, from his grandmother. But isn't that sweet? So tiny, and then oh my gosh, you guys. Because this is on my bucket list. Mercury beads. I was so ecstatic to get these. These were 50 cents each. So I got this for 50 cents. And I'm keeping these. I'm keeping these. I've been trying to buy these. Um, like on Misty's channel and other people. And they just go like that. They go so fast and so high that I, I have to go out. So now I finally got some. You never see mercury beads here ever. And then there's a whole bag. This was also 50 cents. Um, and this also has the ones, um, the fancy ones with the different shapes. Now some might be a little bit broken, but you know, I don't care. I cannot wait to decorate with these. Oh my gosh. So there's quite a few strands on the here. And I'm just ecstatic. There's some blue ones. Oh my gosh. Love these so much. I and I this was towards the end when I was ready to leave, and for some reason I turned around. Because a lot of times you see bags like this, and it's those uh, Mardi Gras beads. <coughs> but when I saw that these were the real thing, I I just about gasped. Okay, let me get some more. I think I'm almost done. <laughs> okay. Another doll. She is beautiful. Oh my God. She's in fairly good condition. Uh, she has a few little cracks in her face, but not horribly, you know, not too, too bad. So, I mean, she's just wonderful. Oh my gosh. But I can't decide um, what I'm gonna do with her yet. Uh, let me look at her face. Oh yeah, she's cracked. She's got cracks. She's got teeth too. I don't know if you can see that, but she has teeth. Oh, she's great. I actually thought about um, about removing her head. Um, it looks like they somebody put a wig on her. I don't know if that's original, because she does have like the the hair, you know, the, is on her. You know, it's in the mold already, and somebody might have added the wig later. I don't know. So I don't know, I'm gonna play with her. I'm gonna see what to do. But I, she may be decapitated. I know, that's horrible, isn't it? But, but I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Um, then I got some books. This one is Pray the Rosary. It's a young Catholic rosary book. And um, let me see, the year does have a name in there. Um, let's see when it's from St. Paul, Minnesota. Pray the Rosary by Sister M. Juliana of Mary Knoll. September 
1953. Copyright 1954. This is great. It's in really good condition. Oh my gosh. This is wonderful. Really, really nice. Very nice. You know, I think I, I was, I shouldn't say, but I was raised Catholic, but I don't know a lot about the Catholic church. Um, because we didn't go to church all the time. So I may actually read some of these for myself, you know, get educated, and then uh, then they will be for sale. But I'm gonna hang on to them for a little while. Uh, this is Peter Rabbit. This is in kind of rough shape, but I still had to pick it up because it, if nothing else, it's great to put in a display. Isn't that cute? And this is an old one. Uh, original price was 25 cents. Um, it has scribbling. I don't know if that's in pencil. If it's in pencil, it may come off. Um, this one was, oh, it's M-C-M-L-I-X. M-C-M-L-I-X. I don't know. I, I have to look it up and I'll put it down below. And then this one is Frisker. Again, it's in rough condition, but it, it is an old one. Um, this is uh, was originally 35 cents. And this one is, oh, again, these Roman numerals, why? Um, M-C-M-L-V-I. Why can't you just write the year? Really, you had to be in, it has to be in code? Anyways, <laughs> I got that one. And then this, oh, this, this was cute. Um, she wanted quite a bit for this. I mean, considering I pay very little for a lot of stuff. Um, but I thought, okay, it's in this original box. It's all, they're all um, safely secured by elastic. And I haven't looked this up. I know nothing about it. They're just a little circus figures. Um, see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think there's like 12. Yeah, 12, 12 pieces. They are some kind of a po painted porcelain. So I thought that was cute, so I got that. Oh, and then this little dog, little toy, tin dog. I didn't see if he worked. Oh, he was made in Japan. No, he doesn't work. He's been overwhelmed, unfortunately. Oh, and he's missing his tail, darn it. I just noticed that he's missing his tail. Oh, what a bummer. How come I didn't see that? But anyways, he's cute. And then uh, this little bag of jewelry. And she wanted quite a bit for this too, but I figured, you know, I'll piece it out and um, we'll see if I get my money back. I should, I should get my money back. This is really nice. This is, um, looks very Art Deco. And it's a little locket. It's a pendant locket, locket pendant. Um, and it does open up. Looks like it could be stainless steel. Really pretty. And then there's a lot of charms in here. Um, there's a little charm bracelet and it has, oops. This one has, it says God led the strength. It has like a little prayer box or something. I don't know if it opens. It looks like it might open, but oh yeah, it does. It opens up. Really cute. Very nice. I don't know anything about it, so I'm gonna have to look some stuff up. It's a nice little bracelet. I don't think this is very old, but it's really cute. Oops. I thought I could put it on. Usually these are pretty easy to um put on but you know okay there we go so just a nice little bracelet and then there's a lot of lot of charms in here I think the rest are charms oh my gosh yeah like I said I don't know if I paid too much I don't know I may have I thought there was something else in here but and they're not they're not silver they're um it could be pewter. It's very possible they are pewter. So, 
So anyways, I got that. Flower frog. <laughs> Where am I going to put all this stuff? <gasps> Look at her little Kokeshi doll. She's adorable. She's in really good condition. I got this uh, Santa Claus by Thomas Nash. Santa Claus and his works. And let's see. See if there's a date on here. Really nice illustrations. This would be something nice to scan now that I have a scanner. It's a little bit in rough condition on the outside. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a date on here. Founded in 1827. Was the first to issue books with illustration and colors. Um, something about 1940s. I don't know the age of this book. I wish they would have put the date. I don't know. I don't see a date. I'll have to look this up. But yeah, the back is kind of rough. That's pretty nice. So we get that. I got this little bell. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Those counter bells that uh, somebody was trying to sell this for $20 at an antique store. I'm sure she didn't pay that much. I'm sure her mother didn't pay that much. This doll, I thought she'd be great for Halloween because her eyes. Now she needs to be restrung. Her her string is a little bit, um, a little bit wobbly. But look at her; she's actually not bad condition. Her eyes, um, her eyes have seen things. I don't know what happened to her eyes. Look at those curls. She's got her shoes. They need to be repaired. I'll have to glue the bottom. But um, she's in not, not horrible condition. But I thought she might be great for Halloween, the way her eyes are. She has some cracking, not on her face. Well, I take that back. She has a little bit of cracking on her face. But I thought she was really cool. I don't know who makes her. I don't see any... any um, name on her. I'll have to check. I do belong to a Facebook group that um, has uh, vintage toys and dolls. I got this little guy. I thought he was cute. Um, again, I don't see any marking on him. Usually it's on the back of the neck. So I did pick him up. Composite face, cloth. The rest of them is all cloth. The body, the legs, the hands. Just the head is composite. And then, oh, and I already showed you her. Okay, I have one more, I think one more doll. I'll be right back. Okay, last one. <laughs> she's big one, she's a big one. She's a crying baby. She cries, she still works. Oh my God, isn't she great? Oh, I just noticed she's got a big boo-boo on the back of her leg. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with her either. I have to sell these dolls because um, I don't know if I have room for all of them. But she's wonderful. Oh, I love her. Oh, my gosh. Oh, her eyes. Oh, they do close, but she's got great eyes. Oh, my gosh. She's just great. She has so many antique dolls that you would not believe. Um, again, I don't know who makes her. I don't see any kind of marking. I'm gonna be taking a lot of pictures and uh, putting it on that Facebook group and see what what they can tell me. Cause she is wonderful. Anyways, <laughs> oh my gosh, am I crazy or what? Ah, oh. <laughs> these dolls are fabulous. So tell me what you think. 
about the crazy old doll lady. Um, yeah. So anyways, thank you for watching. I'm sorry if this video was too long. Um, I'm, and I am going to have another video right after this. I'm going to film it. I'll show you what I got at the thrift stores and what I also got. I think some of it might be yard sales from last week, which wasn't very big. It'll be a shorter video. So anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and make a comment down below because that really helps my videos a lot. And then um, if you could subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that too because I'm really trying to get to 1,000 right now. I do have another channel that I just started. I only have one video up on there and it's called Picasso Cat Gets Creative. So if you're interested in crafting, you can go and subscribe to that channel and I'll put the link down below in the description. Um, I do have a sale on Sundays with the Chatty Kitties. So that'll be tomorrow night um, at nine o'clock Eastern and that's on Leanne's channel, Crafty Kitty Vintage, with Sabrina, Simon Says Let's Make a Deal, and me. Um, so come and join us for that. That's a lot of fun. So until next time, I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>